and there's there a drain right out the back door, and it was it overflowed. Was so it was about six inches of rain there. So all the workers either had to go up the stairs and come in the top and come back down or wade through that water. But they found a way in, and the crowd obviously made a great uh, effort to get here. Well, ULM wins the toss. Wells controls the action for ULM, and the second round of the WNIT is underway here in Monroe. Gross cuts it. Passes over to New Move Bradford. She'll drop. She'll up shot up and in off the glass <laughs> and one. But they're going to call an offensive foul to start the game. That was Tenner who took the charge in a foul on New New Bradford on the first possession of the ball game for the Warhawks. Well, that's a big turnaround yeah, from, a, from from a bucket to a to a charge. From an and one to a charge in Grambling will have their first possession of the ball game as Prien comes across half court. She'll drive all Wells, and that might be an offensive foul the other way, and it is. Two possessions, two offensive <laughs> fouls. Well, they're, at least you know they're going to let you play defense. And it looks like Grambling going to take up full court pressure to start this ball game as they get it into Nunu Bradford. She gets across half court, gets it over to Taylor Johnson, and Coach not paying attention. And something no. to pay attention to. ULM has not played a basketball game in three weeks, not since the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. Grambling just played a heck of a game on Thursday night in their win a Friday night over Oral Roberts. Yeah, and there was about a week during that time that ULM didn't know they were going. Uh, they didn't know they were going to have a chance to play. So, you know, they, they really wasn't working on it. High low to Blake. She misses the bunny. Rebounded by Grant. She'll get the third opportunity, and Grambling takes a 2-0 lead here early, nine minutes to go here in the first quarter. Well, they were just all over the boards. And, I mean, just when you we pull down the offensive rebounds like that, you just shoot till you make it. Three rebounds on the fir- on that possession for the Tigers. Well pressured by C- Carter and took footsteps. It's sloppy early for ULM on their first three possessions. You know, going back, like you said, being off so long, the, the tournament, the, the, the South of tournament was early. And so when they lost, they had no idea at first whether they were going to play or not. So they really wasn't. They were here. About it. But, yeah, you know. yeah, but they were. That really wasn't on their mind. And then they found out. Well, then they got to crank back up. Well, you know, as soon as Grambling found out, they went to work. But now you got to give it to them. They went on the road and yep. won a 93-91 to 91 game. Great game Friday night in Tulsa. J.K. Johnson knocked it away. Good news for Missy Bilderback. She announced earlier this week or late last week she will be back for ULM next year. Carter's got it on the right wing. She's trying to get low, low close to Blake. She'll go to work on the baseline on Brianna Harrison. She misses and... New New Bradford controls it for ULM. Yeah, they got to work on trying to keep in Carter away from the ball, not let her get it. And, Coach, another turnover for the Warhawks as Bradford couldn't control it, what? but they said it's yeah, out yeah, on yeah, Grambling. It looked, looked like they knocked it. They said that they knocked it out of her hand. Bradford but, will throw it down under their own basket. But, you know, they're going to attack. You know, you, you don't you don't score 93 points and, 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 and win – like 12 of your last 13 games by just sitting watching somebody else play. you got to get after them, and, and they're setting the tone early. They're letting them know real early that you're going to have a long night. Coach Simmons encouraging her team's defense. Shot by Wells. Up and in. And that'll be a long two to tie it up at two with eight minutes to go here in the first quarter. Long two. Foot was on the line. Brian yep. controlling the action. Gets it over to the left wing. Tenner's three-point shot up. Nothing but net. <laughs> that was See, that was a good that was a good answer. Only hers was a three. Center with the three. Bradford gets it back. She'll drop. Shot up and in. Nunu Bradford loves getting to the basket. She showed why on that one. Makes it 5-4. Grambling. Well, she can get by you. She's quick enough to get by you, and she's strong enough to get bumped and still score. And that's what she's done all year. That's why she's averaging over 19 points a game. Man-to-man defense for the Warhawks. Prien will drive, and she'll take the foul on well. Excuse me, on Gross. Gross, of course, one of the many transfers. Of course, you could say that about almost any team in the country right now, but Missy Builder back with quite a few in her first year at ULM. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 not if they did, it's just where they came yeah. from. And it's not freshmen anymore. That's the a, that's a sad part about it. You don't see a lot of freshmen anymore. Manuel, playing. Yep, Caitlin Manuel, the Sunbelt Conference sixth men of the year, will check in for Nunu Bradford here early. Oh, so that was Bradford's second foul. That's obviously a it, big storyline with Nunu two fouls here early. Less than three minutes into the game. Brian's first three throw is up and in. Florida native, a junior for the Tigers. Second free throw 
is also good, and they extend their lead to three here early. Tigers will pick up full court. Harris looking for somebody to throw it to, gets it off to J.K. She's trapped, gets it back to Harris. It's tough about Bradford. Not, not only does she the scoring and a rebounding, but she's the one that helps handle the ball, too. Long three for Gross, in and out, but rebounded by Manuel. Gets it back top of the key to Johnson, swings it over to Wells, and she'll reset the offense. Almost a foul on Grant. Harris will try for three. Coach, that's not her game, but you wouldn't know if she answers to make it <laughs> 7 11. You know, she transferred from Troy herself, so he's probably familiar with Coach yes, Simmons. Yes, that's a great point. And ball's knocked away and off of Tyner, or Tenner, and it will go to the Warhawks. Both players laying out last touched by a Tiger. Off of Tenner. Well, you know, they're playing like ever possessions. It's going to be the final possession, and that's the way it ought to be. That's what you come well, to watch. And it's postseason basketball, as you'd expect. Great pass to Manuel. She's up and in. Oh, she missed the bunny, Coach. Good look by Gross, but Manuel could not finish. I spoke too soon. The old announcer's uh, <laughs> well, yeah. curse. Corner three by Carter. No good. But right into the hands. Lucky bounce. And Isaiah Tenner. Well, it's like Gross didn't even see it. It went right by her, and then she picks up. She picks up a foul. And you saw the reaction by Gross. She couldn't believe that that shot by Manuel went in and out. Well, you, you're not going to get, you're not going to get many of those. <laughs> and so you got to make them count when you do. Such a good look, Manuel, with a great cut on the baseline, was wide open, just could not finish. Seven-seven here early in the first quarter. Second round of the WNIT. Yen will throw it in under her own basket. Gets it off to Carter. Her shot up, no good. And, Coach, that was Jasmine Jackson who checked in. It was off of her, but she was a big, and that's understatement, contributor in the win over Oral Roberts. She hit a big three to give Grambling a little breathing room late in that ball game. She was massive coming off the bench. You know, Gramlin overcame like a 12-point deficit to come back and win. Wells breaks the trap. Oh, good look to J.K. Johnson. Couldn't finish, but she was fouled. Yeah, those those can come back to haunt you there. Like I said, you, you only get so many of those. you got to make them count. Wells broke the trap, made a great uh, chess pass to J.K. Johnson. Couldn't finish, but she was fouled. You know, Gramlin's going, they're going to attack you, and, and they're being more physical on the offensive boards than ULM is to to keep them off the boards. Johnson gives ULM their first lead of the ball game, 6.08 remaining in the first quarter. Coach, they, they did not play this year, but Grambling in this series has won the last six. Now, neither one of these coaches and most of these players weren't here, but this has been recently towards the series, towards the Tigers. All kinds of stuff. Shoot Kyle Warsley, who we spotlighted, has checked into the first time in this ball game. the transfer from Tulane Shreveport native. You know, they do a good job of moving the ball, and they're really fighting to try to get it inside. Grant's really trying to post up down there. Tenner goes to work on manual. Spin shot up. No good. Rebounded by J.K. Johnson for ULM. They said they're going to contest it all the way down the floor. They're going to make ULM work it. Johnson to Harris in the corner. She'll drive now, get it back to Wells. At the logo, reset the offense. Doesn't go with the screen. Great bounce to Manuel. And that time, Coach, off <laughs> yeah. the bounce, she makes it. Hey, we had to watch that one through the net. Got it. He didn't yeah. want to jinx it that yeah, time. Right. Manuel's first bucket, the Sunbelt Conference sixth man of the year. Jackson fakes the shot, throws it to Brian off her hands, and it's a turnover by Grambling. Yeah, she was, she was looking to see where she was going or who she was going to pass it to, the same thing that Johnson did earlier. Yeah, something you know, both of them's really, really pumped up to play and ready, so you, you get a little excited. And probably nerves a little bit right now. But. Well, it's a it's a rivalry. It's the postseason, and they got a nice crowd that continues to pile in here in the Fant UN Coliseum. Harris will drive her shot up, no good, but she'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, that was a big move for her. She, you know, this probably get, means a lot to her playing against coach, her well, former, former former coaches. Not only that, but she knows this might be one of her her, her next basketball game could be her last. Her so you're going to get all right. out effort by Brianna Harris, as you mentioned, transferred from Troy, transferred from Louisiana Tech. Well, another thing, that's that's Grant's second foul, too. You know, ULM uh, had Bradford with two, and now Grant's got two. Harris's first free throw is true to make it 11-7. to seven. She's 
Second free throw, also good. Yeah, she got them both. She's, she stepped up there. You know, this is a big game. Well, it's a big game for all of them. You know, first of all, the seniors probably thought they were through and and, uh, and have a reprieve, what? and now they've got to really get after it. Of course, Gramlin has already won one playoff game, and they're, they're hungry for it. Jackson, long miss. ULM, and I think that's going to be off Harrison. It'll be turned over and go back to the Tigers. Well, Carter was after that one. There she was. It is back in four so far. So much to 12 to 7 for the last 208 for the Warhawks, which has given them a 12 to 7 lead. Well, you know, they, 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 they stopped gravity from getting those offensive rebounds, which helped a lot. They've got five, but three of them have been on the offense. And then, uh, you know, ULM has kind of picked it up. And like you said, ULM hadn't played in so long. They had to shake off a little rust. Well, there's another charge. That's another offensive foul. There's it's been quite a few in this ballgame. Yeah, made the pass and then kept running. And that, that may be something that they're stressing right now because, you know, there's been a, I know there's been a lot of criticism about the defense not having a chance because if they get run over, they get pushed under the basket, and if you and if you push back, you get to foul. So right now we've had three offensive fouls already. That's the first foul on Wells. Miles has come in off the bench for the Warhawks, replacing Brianna Harris. Prien gets it over to Wormsley. Leading score for the Tigers, and you see why on that drive, as she makes it 12-9. to nine. She is instant offense coming off the bench. She didn't waste any time. No, she did not, and she normally doesn't. Leading score, Coach, how many times do you see the leading score <laughs> coming off the bench? She comes in the microwave for the Tigers. She does. Another turnover as. Just couldn't stop. Yeah. Yeah, just couldn't. Maybe a wet spot on the floor as Wells goes down and turns it over. That's a charge. And then a turnover. Not the best of consecutive possessions for the Warhawks. Green kicks it to the corner. Warmsley guarded by J.K. Three from the top of the key. No good by Mosley. Rebounded by Johnson. I think ULM is, <laughs> I think Coach Builder back talked to him about that rebound because they they stopped all that crashing the boards or, or they're keeping uh, they're keeping Gramlin off the boards. Johnson's dribble drive, strong move to the basket but left it short. Rebounded by Grambling. Grambling out in transition is Prien. She gets it over to Jackson. Jackson's drive on the baseline but a little too fast. Yeah, she she a I think too many steps. I think she thought about taking the outside shot and she realized she might have a chance to take it to the basket, but but she was traveling the whole time she was thinking that. So obviously sloppy here early both teams. Number of fouls, number of turnovers, 12-9 ULM 327 remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, between ULM has had six turnovers and that was that was Gremlin's fourth. Throws to Wells to Johnson. She'll drive. This time shot up no good, but she drew a foul on Wormsley. You got to stop and look and see. Yeah. Well, well I, I look, my first indication, coach, is it's probably going to be a charge because <laughs> yeah. that's what we've seen so far. Well, it looked that time like she tried to avoid yeah. it. The other times it looked like they just went straight forward and continued in. Draw move by Johnson to pick up the foul on Wormsley, her first. ULM three or four so far from the charity stripe. Second free, first free throw up and in. For J.K. Johnson, coach, she really kind of set the tone for her first year at ULM. She had a big game in the season opener against the Arkansas Razorbacks, and even though ULM lost, I think that was the game that kind of showed this might be a different ULM team. Oh, no no doubt. You know, I think they were – I don't remember the halftime. I think we – Yep. Follow on Kyle Wormsley. Second okay. free throw. Also yeah. good. Yeah, that put it up on number three, but it's on number 12, Wormsley, instead of uh, Mosley. And Jordan Carter will check back into the game for Mosley. 13 14-9, 3-15 remaining here in the first quarter. Well, you know, and all this is happening with Bradford on the bench. Yeah. Brian, she'll drive, kick it to the corner to Wormsley, to Jackson. Good defense by ULM. Cross-court pass to Preen. Preen to make a move on Wells. Well, Preen and Jackson are just quick. Yes, they, they are. They can just go by you. Now Grant will make her move, kicks it to the corner to Carter. Back to Grant. Boy, everybody's touching the basketball in they this possession. Are. Jackson. Coach, that was a tough shot, but as you mentioned, she and Warms they have really quick first moves. They, they first do. First steps. That, that step, if you don't well, watch it, they're going so by. Wells you. with almost a little Euro there, rebounded by Manuel, her second opportunity up and in. Boy, she just climbed up and got that one and finished with it. 
ULM has got their biggest lead of the game here in the first quarter, 16-9, 12-2 run over the last 4-31. Yeah, that was a huge rebound. 4-3 by Jackson. 12-2 run for the Warhawks over the last 4-31. Grambling one of their last nine after that miss. Gross drops it down low to Manuel. And, Coach, how many times you know, have we seen that tonight? Hey, this year I have seen more traveling that wasn't called, but tonight they're on it. Olivia Knight checks it in the first uh, to the, checks into the game for the first time tonight. And Coach, we talk about quick. That's what comes to mind when you see numbers double zero, Olivia Knight. Exactly, yeah, and that that also you know kind of gives a give the guards a little breather. You help get the ball down the floor. Well, again, haven't played in three weeks. We've seen reasons why early. Yeah, she's giving Wells a, a breather. Preem takes it past midcourt for the Tigers, trailing by seven. She'll drive past Knight, and Coach took advantage of a player who just checked into the game. Yeah, she finished, left it short. Now Knight will get the Warhawks into transition. Yeah, it looked like it took uh, Knight by surprise because she, she she blew by her, and Knight's too quick to let that happen. Yep. Kind of like when you're uh, in football, you see a deep at the back checking the game, you throw it right to that wide receiver, but she couldn't finish it. J.K. to the basket. She won't finish it, but rebounded by Manuel. Her second opportunity, or her rebound is up and in. And, Coach, that's about the third time tonight she got an offensive rebound and finished. Well, that's that's what she can do. That's why she was the sixth woman of the year coming off the bench. And Courtney Simmons, the coach for Grambling, has seen enough. She comes almost at midcourt to call a timeout. 18-9 ULM. He's going to do the same thing Coach Bilderback did. Talk about keeping them off the offensive boards. That's that's what will kill you. You just got to make sure your lady doesn't get the rebound. Well, Coach, and speaking of those offensive boards, before our first official timeout, Grambling was owning the boards. Since then, <laughs> it's been it's it's been Caitlin Manuel on the offensive glass for ULM, and you see why here. Yeah, that's that's one of them. That, that's one of the earlier ones she got. Yeah. Fourteen to two run after that bucket by Caitlin Manuel over the last five thirty one here in the first quarter. It was nip and tuck to the first three or four minutes, but ULM getting a little separation here at the end of the first quarter, doubling up the lead, eighteen to nine. You know, one one thing, though, to keep, keep in mind, and, of course, you know, Grambling is going to keep it in mind, all the Tiger fans, that's a 14-2 over five and a half minutes. But but uh, Grambling was down 12 points at uh, at Oral Roberts. Uh, yep. Roberts and came back and won. Certainly did. They've come back from double digits multiple times this year, one of the top teams in the SWAC. And, but, Coach, here's the thing for ULM, able to make this run with Nudu Bradford on the bench for most of this first quarter. Well, you know, they didn't win 11 in a row. Yep. <laughs> by, by accident. Warms lead to Grant. She'll drive. Gets it over to Gardner. Gardner tries to get it over to Grant. Turns it over. And Brianna Harris back into the ball game. And she'll operate the all. Oh, she thought about going cross-court pass. <laughs> yeah. Got to get it to somebody. Well, you got, you'll get it cut off. Yep. You know, Gross almost intercepted one for ULM and kind of helped cause that turnover. So it's a good thing Brianna was, saw that happening. Knight looking for the screen by Manuel. Gets it over to Harris. Looking for a little high-low. Good entry pass to Manuel. Her spin move lost control of it and back to Harris. Top of the three key up and the rim. <laughs> that was the friendly Fant Ewing <laughs> that, that, rim that was a for a war off. Yeah, that was that was one she's been hoping for. I think she had to exhale. She had to exhale to get that one After in. that three, a 17-2 run for ULM. And it ends on that bucket. Bazalia Tenner ends the run for ULM, makes it 21-11. With 28 seconds left here in the first quarter. You know, you know they're going to answer. Just ULM's got to just make hay while the sun's shining. they got to keep it going. And, and again, as you just mentioned, all of this is happening with Bradford on the bench. So the more they can get from these other players, the better it's going to be. Because you know when she gets back in, if she can get back in without nice foul trouble, she's going to be good. Nice Olivia Knight to J.K. Johnson. She can't finish, but they'll call a foul. And the Grambling faithful is not going to like that call. Well, she might have moved under. The official out here had a really good look at it. Yeah, Courtney Simmons does not like that call. But a great entry pass by Olivia Knight. Number one, Watkins checks in in the first time tonight. You know, the, the difference I see in the, the, the charge block there is uh, Johnson didn't continue forward after she went up to shoot. She went up and came down straight. Those other times, they just kept yep. going. The forward momentum just carried them forward. Just a jump shot. So they're trying to go for a layup. 
Johnson is good from the charity strike. Four of five after that free throw, extending the Warhawks lead. Doubling up the Grambling Tigers right now, 22 to 11. Second free throw, also good. Wells checks in for Johnson. Grambling will get the last shot with 6.8 seconds left here in the first quarter. Yeah, and with them, you, know, you don't know where they're going to shoot a three. They're so quick, they take it to the back. Warmsley like they did. straight to the basket, blocked by Wells and off the legs of Warmsley. I said last shot, but ULM's got 2.4 seconds left to make something happen between oh, wow. uh, now and the end of the first quarter. And that was quite a block. It did just knock it up in the stands. I mean, it put it off of her. Wells from half court. Little too much English showing it, and that is how our first quarter ends, Coach, where it was a back-and-forth game, first two minutes of this ball game, and since then, UL. Steve Barry yep. is joining the president. The president and the president. Yeah, exactly. Grambling with their first possession of the second quarter, blocked by Harris into the hands of J.K. Johnson. Shot of Tiana Gardner was blocked by Harris. Yeah, Bradford's back in the game. She come, yep. she grabbed that loose ball. She gets it over oh. to Watkins, who turned it over, and she follows Jordan Carter in yeah. transition. Yeah, she tried to make a big move and, and just lost a handle on it, and uh, they come up with it, and she fouled. Trying, with disgust, she fouled. Coach, one of the big things that happened in the middle of that first quarter was second-chance opportunities. Warhawks with seven, mostly because of Caitlin Mandel. She had four rebounds in that quarter. <laughs> and she got a lot of them on offense and just put them back in. Mid-range jumper, no good. Rebounded by Watkins. Skied up to get it, but almost turned it over. Wells ran it down. Charlie Watkins from the sophomore from Panola, Alabama, getting some run here early in the first half. You know, it's like after a rebound, after ULM gets a rebound, uh, Gramlin defends that first pass a little bit. Wells mid-range jumper, no good. Rebounded by Grant. She looks to run for the Tigers. Her mid-range jumper up. That one's no good and rebounded by J.K. Johnson. Both teams, Coach, getting good looks, just can't finish. Harris back to Wells, top of the key, open three. Good. Sanaya Wells got a good look, and that shot was clean and gives ULM a 26-11 lead. Perrine quickly to Warmsley. She stepped out of bounds. And another turnover. That's, that's, that's a haul going in ULM's favor. Nunu Bradford. She's back in the back game. Back in right the now. game, yeah, with two points. Despite having two fouls, Bradford back into the ball game. It was a fifth turnover here in the first half for Grambling. In fact, combined, we've got 13, eight for ULM. But still a 15-point lead, 840 remaining in the second quarter. Wells guarded at midcourt by Warmsley. Gets yeah, what, it to Harris. Yeah, Wells is handling the ball a lot. Harris blacks Blake down. Wow, takes it to the glass. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll finish on Blake. Big first half for Brianna Harris. Preen. She gets over to Blake. She tries to return the favor, and she'll go to the free throw line. So the post players active here in the second quarter for both ULM and Grambling. Uh, that's Wells' is, that's yep. Wells is second one. Blake trying to answer the shot by Harris. Doesn't convert, but she does pick up a foul. As you mentioned, second foul. Grambling looks to cut it in this 17-point lead by ULM here in the second quarter. Okay, now Johnson's back in the game for Wells. That was Wells' second foul. Amanda Blake, senior from Somerville, South Carolina. First free throw, no good off the back of the iron. 28-11. Yeah, she's, she's one of those that can help rebound at 6-2. Makes the second one, makes it 28-12. Blake will check out. Jackson checks back in for the Tigers. Again, Jackson was the hero of that WNIT win in round number one against Oral Roberts. Well, I don't know. Harris looked like she yeah. wanted to throw it long. Bradford, two fouls, doesn't matter. She goes straight to the hoop, not able to finish. Jackson and Wells on the ground will be a jump ball. Well, well, with everybody with two fouls, with you, ULM, yeah, you're almost, <laughs> you're probably worried about jumping in there and trying to get a hold of the ball in case you get a foul called on you. Bradford will throw it in. Well, J.K. will throw it in now. On the baseline, Warhawks up 28-11. Gets it over to Bradford, left corner three up, 
Airballed it right into the hands of Jackson. She'll look to run for the Tigers. Yeah, Bradford hadn't got into the flow yet. Yes, she, she went to the bench in, in, in three minutes. Hands it off to Grant. Her shot from the left baseline, no good. And now Nunu Bradford runs the offense, gets it into Harris. She's running down the post. Her layup, up, oh, no good. Wow. Rebounded by Preen. Yeah, again, she's trying to avoid the defense. She's trying to avoid contact and avoid making the basket. Wormsley, Jackson, corner three, Preen. Wide open shot, up, good. Ooh, somebody somebody was lost. She was wide yep. open over there. Somebody picked up the wrong player. Preen wide open in the left corner. Her three makes it 28-15. Tigers needed that one. Yeah, that, they'll find her next time. <laughs> she, she, that was a warning shot. Green makes it 28-15. Bradford, top of the key. She'll drive on Carter, and it'll be a foul on Carter reaching in. Yeah, she had the hand on her the whole way then. I mean, she, she was trying to keep her pushed out. Green right now the leading score for the Tigers after that three with five. Some more substitutions to coach. A lot of new, a lot of different bodies for both teams so far in this first half. Well, you know, Gramlin substitutes an awful lot. You know, I saw that in the in the Oral Roberts game. They just keep them coming, and that's why, you know, the leading scorer only averaged 10 points a game for Green the year. knocks it away from Bradford. She gets the steal. Tigers got numbers. Jackson, too many steps. She did. She did. She took an extra step. You know, I, I guess if she just stretched it out and you could have called well, it Euro step. And it yeah, well, we, we, we call it a lot of Euro steps these days. <laughs> yeah, but but she, she took hers in rapid succession. And a reach it in foul this time on Preen. And, Coach, the thing, Jackson, such a big fourth quarter in Grambling's come for behind victory over Oral Roberts. She has had a tough first half here in Monroe. Yeah, and that's uh, that's Preen's first, uh, second foul, too. I mean, so that's, you know, this is early in the second quarter. ULM will throw it in on the baseline. I will say, I uh, noticed that Coach Simmons and the coaching staff, deep three by Jackson. Johnson, no good. But off the hands of Preen and right back to Johnson. Cross court pass to Bradford. Pump fakes, drives, shot, no good, blocked. Jackson quickly to Carter. Well, Blake just stood there. Carter will run, blocked. no good. Boy, we've missed the, We've seen a bunch of missed, missed layups tonight. Well, you know, both teams are just going after the ball. They, they got hands everywhere, and I think you're trying to avoid it being blocked. Wells, the three from the right wing, makes it 31-15. So they answer with the three-point shot. Now Jackson, quickly across the top line. She'll take a three. That one's good. Grambling with the answer. Johnson needed that one. Jackson needed that one. It didn't, it didn't take long for her to respond. Her first bucket. Johnson. My goodness, wow. we've gotten red hot here in Monroe. Well, a, a three-point uh, shooting contest right now. And I right think now. we've got a technical foul on Johnson. After that three-point shot, I don't, I didn't see what she did, Coach, but I did see a motion of a technical. But uh, I didn't see. I was, uh, I was writing a note to myself, but and so I missed it. But Back Coach, Coach Bilderbach's yeah. not happy with it. Back and forth, both teams finding their range from distance over the last two minutes. Here's the pass to Johnson, shot from the left wing, up, good, and, well, I... Wow, she, I, she had to have said something because that, that wasn't enough to well, get a technical. I, 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 uh, watching the NCAA, <laughs> look, I'm, we're not officials, right? That's why we're exactly, from the Jackers, but exactly. I saw that motion a lot during the NCAA tournament on both the men and the women's side. So she had to have said something. Yes, yeah, that that wasn't enough when when they do all that's been done this year. That that's popular. The the pointing to the arm, ice in the veins, the arrow. I've seen it all. So she had to say something. I'm surprised anybody could have heard it. First free throw by Tenner is good. She's taking the technical free throws for Coach Simmons. Second free throw is no good. Well, I was mentioning earlier, Coach, before we got red hot around here, uh, shout out to the Grambling coaching staff. I love the old school letter sweaters. Yeah. That's a <laughs> yeah. throwback. 34-19, ULM leading Grambling. Preen, guarded by Johnson, top of the key. Good defense by Johnson. She gets it over to Carter. Carter will look to move on Bradford. She'll drive. Threw it right to Wells. Wow. Yeah, Gross. Gross, or Gross. Was, yeah, Gross was right there waiting on that one. To Harris. Bounces to Bradford. Bradford shot. No good. And off of Manuel or Miles, 
it'll be Grambling basketball. Then I don't know what happened with Bradford. I mean, that was just, that was a while. She, she usually she usually can handle being bumped or whatever. Yep. But there was no call. We've seen a lot of misses around the basket tonight on both teams. But you know, some sometimes the games are when you go to the basket and miss, there's a foul call, and these fish are doing a great job of keeping it under control. Well, that's to your point, coach. That's kind of Bradford's strength, getting to the rim, maybe getting a little contact, and still being able to finish cross court pass to center, guarded by Manuel. She goes to work on the baseline. Green thought about it. She drive passes it to Blake. Mid-range shot up. No good. Missed it long. But right to Preen. Dang, she, they had the inside and, and just knocked it loose. Stolen away by J.K. Johnson. Doesn't really have the numbers, but she'll say that's new, new Bradford. Bradford came in, got the steal. She's just having a rough time getting started offensively. I mean, but, but coach, she and we've seen a number of her games this year. You've oh, called them all. Oh, where it doesn't <laughs> take long. Once that first bucket goes through, she starts going. Hey, in the but, last in the last quarter, she's she's got her average. Of course, in the first game of the Sun Belt Conference tournament, she yeah. had a triple double. Yeah, that was a pretty good lick there. So that <laughs> sometimes it just takes seeing one shot go in to get the offense going. But we've seen. Nunu starts slow. We've seen Jackson for uh, Grambling start slow as well. Well, yeah, Nunu. Now the iron unkind. Yeah, yeah. No, normally she's about an 80, 85 percent free throw shooter. Yeah, she's right there, 77, close to it. That's about as good as it gets. You'd love to have some 77 exactly. free throw shooters exactly. back in your day. Take Both a free throw, them. also wow. good. She, she is struggling. Slow first start. Jackson to Warmsley. Her three. No good. Rebound to Brianna Harris. Yeah, that looked warm. It looked like it was going from here. Oh, stolen away by Warmsley. Headsy play, but was she be able to track it down? No. Yeah. But a good heads up play by Warmsley. Yeah, Brianna. Brianna's going to have to stay a little away. Just casually. Just she just got rid of the ball. She didn't pass it. She just got rid of it. Turnovers, the name of the game. 15 combined here in inside Fantu and Coliseum, where the ULM cheer squad happy with they've seen. Here in the first half, as this should be with the Warhawks up 15 and great crowd on both sides. You see the ULM faithful, a number of people here wearing garnet and gold. And then you see plenty of black and gold for a Grambling coach, as it should with two teams playing in the postseason just 30 miles away from hey, each other. And, and two quality teams. It's just not a game. It's just two quality teams competing with each other. Grambling trying to trap ULM here and another turnover. That is the 11th for ULM. But you want to know how it's 15 points right now? Well, there's a couple of things. Coach, 50% shooting so far for ULM to just 23% for the Tigers. Then turnovers, or excuse me, all rebounds. Pretty one-sided so far. 21 for ULM that's led to second chance opportunities. Just 12 for the Tigers. Well, yeah, and a big thing, too, you mentioned the percentage. It's five for eight from three for ULM. But, you know, Grambling just hadn't got – Cranked up yet from three-point range. But shot by Grant, no good. Left it short, rebounded by Manuel. We've said multiple times this year, Coach Simmons' bunch has come from behind to win by double digits, including on Friday night in the first round at Oral Roberts. So definitely not out of it. Knight getting extended playing time here in the first half. Gets it to J.K. Johnson on the right lane, looking for a screen from Manuel. Well, give and go, Manuel shot. Right, she is having herself <laughs> oh, that, a first half. That's a big-time shot, and it was a tough pass to catch. She, she, I, I thought she was going to travel with it when she first got it. She kind of fumbled it a second and then get fouls and scores anyway. Caitlin Manuel showing why she is the Sunbelt Conference sixth person of the year. Big first half. That is her eighth, looking for her ninth point. Comes in averaging 10. She's had herself a big first half off the bench. Hey, and that's the third foul for Grant. You know, that's a nine-point score for game. You know, game coming in off the bench. Wormsley hoping to get GSU back in this ball game, down 18. Tenner to Jackson. Jackson will drive. She'll go up no good, but she'll draw the foul on Gross. Or Wells, excuse me. That is Gross. That's Gross. Uh, yeah, it's Gross. Number 22 for the Warhawks. Good move by... Yes, if that went on the other side. Right. You, you talked about the first step by Jackson, coach. Got by Gross with that first step. Not right. able to finish, but she'll go to the free throw line. You know, they can. Both her, Preen, and Warmsley, extremely quick players. 
they, they can they can get it and go with it. I mean, they 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 didn't win 23 games. Jackson's first free throw is good. Yeah, and beat some quality teams, including out of the Pac-12 earlier in the season. They beat Arizona State. We well, you know, another thing, and looking at their stats, the, the last two games they played was by two points. The one a victory and a loss, but there were two points. So they're used to playing tight ball games. They've been in that situation before. Jackson hits them both, to make it 37 to 20, and more wholesale ups, substitutions for Coach Simmons, Warmsley, and Carter checking back into the ball game for the Tigers. They'll pick up full court pressure. See, All 10 players on this side of the court. Yeah, well, usually they'll. When, when they're all like that, somebody usually goes long and they throw it. But a lot of times you throw that long pass away. You're inviting them to throw it long. Warhawks break the press and the trap. Knight's got it tied of the key guard by Perrine. Looks like she had a move on her, but she pulled her back out. Yeah, but with Gramlin playing so many people, they they can just press the whole uh, the whole four quarters without losing anything. Johnson Harris, top of the key, three point shot up, no good off the back iron. Manuel tries to keep it alive, but gets it into the hands of Jackson, who gets it to Perrine. Yeah, I Green, think, yeah, that three was point that. shot, but no. Carter had an open shot from the left wing. Did take it. Jackson has no problem taking it off the back rim, rebounded by Knight. That was a deep three and a long rebound. Well, that's the one she hit to give them the lead late Friday night in Tulsa. Yeah. Hit something just like that. Yeah, Knight got to the basket, but just wasn't able to finish it. Almost a foul on Johnson. Yeah, you got to be careful challenging well, it. Jackson gets another opportunity, makes the most of it on that one. Makes it 37-24, first field goal in three and a half minutes for the Tigers. It's like she just took a step in. They're trying to get a little bit trapped in that corner over there. Harris will drive. She'll go to the bucket strong and finish. Brianna Harris with her 10th point. You know, that last three that Harris took and missed was her first miss from three. She had hit two in a row. So Harris going for the... And one for the Warhawks. 39-24 ULM. That was Jasmine Jackson's second foul. Free throw up and good. Makes it 40-24 ULM. Preen. Warmsley went Ooh, up and got it. <laughs> way, way to toe tap to stay in bounds. And stayed in bounds. That that was that was almost as athletic as catching it. Yeah, Mickey Joseph might bring her out for the football team with catches like that. But ball intercepted by Johnson. She gets it over to Harris. Harris has got a size advantage on Jackson. She gets it down to Manuel. Manuel with the left no good, but fouled. Fouled by Tenner. And, Coach, the post players, Manuel and Harris, big first halves uh, from both for Coach Bilderback. Well, you know, they, they've – They've got them spread out, and it gives them a little room to operate inside for Caitlin Manuel, and she's really, really taking advantage of it. 40-24 ULM, Manuel's free throw. Good. Yeah, she's just so active, and, and uh, she can finish with it. That's the big thing. You know, there's, there's several post players that can rebound and defend a little bit, but she can catch it and score with it. Harris Keeps it alive for ULM. She gets another opportunity, <laughs> and off the glass makes it 43-24. Hey. She's got 13. <laughs> That's a five-point play. Lead is 19. Grambling looking to stop the bleeding. Jackson. Well, she's made two in a row. You don't want her to get hot if you're ULM. Oh. If you're Grambling, you said you need more of that. Yeah, he is great yeah. offense off the bench, as is Warms, the coach, both of them. Wow. Off the bench. A little bit stepped out of bounds, yeah. or bounced the ball out of bounds. They were pushing her to the side. They're right. trying to take her down that sideline and trap. Well, Preen, she gets yeah. over there close and steps out. And she did. She hit the M out on the sideline, and the sideline is an extra def extra defender, and Preen used it to her advantage. Yeah. Well, she planted that foot to try to, to, to break away, come back towards us across the court, and just stepped out of bounds. But that's, that's a mental mistake. Preen with the drive to the basket can't finish, but she's fouled. Again, quick first step, and that is the foul on Olivia Knight. That's her first. As Grambling looking to cut into this lead late in the first half. Since about the five-minute mark in the first quarter, it's been all ULM. Her first free throw is good. You know, Preen, that's, that's her third free throw, so she's, she stepped up there and took advantage of that. 
Well, I mentioned she was leading scorer. Then Jackson's gotten hot. She's got 11th. This is the sixth point. She missed the buck. Missed the second six points. <laughs> yeah, mostly, mostly was trying to get that one. She was trying to she help. Didn't, yeah, she did not agree with the official. <laughs> yeah, she was trying to help get that call. But when it goes against you, when do they ever? That's exactly right. Agree with the call. Harris, good pressure by Gramley, gets it to Knight. You see, they, Knight beats Preen. Yeah, with her size, they want to get her on that half court, yeah. mid court line, and use that as a. She as a takes trap. the three, top of the key, no good. Rebounded by Miles into the hands of Johnson. Johnson splits a double team. Her shot up and <laughs> in. Strong move by J.K. Johnson, coach. Both her and Bradford, not the biggest players, but so good around the goal. That was just pure Take strength. It. That was just pure force. She might not be tall, but she is strong. Yeah, that's warmly second. See, J.K. Just, Johnson size advantage over Warmsley and takes advantage of it. She just took it in there. Again, size advantage from ULM, one of the big factors so far tonight. Her free throw is good. The lead back to 18 for ULM. Boy, Johnson, is, is he, he's hit her free throws today. Warmsley got a good look but couldn't finish. Rebounded by Wells. Back to Knight. Knight to Johnson. Knight wants it back. No, Johnson said, I'm taking it. <laughs> yeah. I'll work the offense here yeah, she, as we go under a minute. Yeah, she's going to try to take Mosley, looks like. And she did. And she does. Not even close. Great move by Johnson. Blows past her defender to make it a 20-point game. Yeah, she. Let, I don't know. Mosley was like, like she was surprised. And, says, and then Grant does the same. She answers to make it 48 to 30. Actually, that was Tenner. I got my 15s and my 5 confused. <laughs> yes. That was 10 or 6 point for Grambling. 48, 30, 40 seconds left. Knight. They just out pressuring that ball. Oh, good steal by Jackson. Ripped it from Knight. Yep. Yep. You just, it's too, too much dribbling out there. Drives on Wells' left baseline, but turns it over. 28 seconds left. Yeah, I don't know. Knight, I don't know if she's, she's going behind her back. I don't know if she looked like she turned her. Turned her ankle a little bit, stepped well, up the side or something. Valuable minutes off the bench for ULM for Olivia Knight. Well, yep, doesn't have any points, but good minutes. That's where you see turned it over, traveled. Yeah, she, she was wanting to foul. Both of them was wanting to foul, but it was a travel. And Jackson comes in off the bench. See, and see that, not, you, yeah. ULM's going to have to have some help. I mean, it's. Grayland, like they've been most of the night, picks up pressure defensively the length of the court. Wells back into the ball game for this final possession for ULM. 20 seconds left. Warhawks up 18. Wormsley picks her up at the logo. Yeah, so you're just going to dribble it down. You know, I, I like to see him move. Gets it to Miles, back to Wells. <laughs> She's looking to get it inside. Johnson, she'll move on Tanner. Up, no good. Rebounded by Blake. Two seconds left. Preen, Wormsley, no good. Oh, wow. good look. I don't know if it would have counted, <laughs> but a good look to end the first half, which saw ULM get hot and extend their lead coach to 18. Well, you know, shooting 51% against 28%, it's hard to argue about that. Now, ULM's got to go in and make sure that they come back with the same intense basketball is doing right now within the conference. Coach, Tigers down 18, but they've come back from this distance before. If you're Coach Simmons, what do you tell your team at the locker room? Well, you know, this is this is not us. We got to go back to being us. You know, we just came from Oral Roberts, did the same thing. So let's just go back and play our basketball. I always said, just go back and play our game. Don't worry about them. Let's play our game. Down 11 against Oral Roberts. Tigers came back in winning, but the uh, the mountain to climb a little steeper here tonight. Down 18, but good pressure. Well, they're gonna get 10 seconds. Well, almost. Yeah, they're gonna. Bradford to Johnson. Johnson, good look. But Harris can't follow but or finish, but Coach, like she has all night, gets the rebound and gets it over to Johnson on the right baseline. She does finish. <laughs> She's having trouble. She t she turned around and fell down. I think she was just so frustrated about missing that shot. Well, Boy. Green right to the basket with the left. She doesn't finish, but Amanda Blake does, and she gets on the scoreboard for the first Boy, time tonight. Yeah, she went and got it. Our first field goal tonight. Yeah, she went and got it. See, they're going to be well, much more aggressive. ULM is going to have to stay out of the corners yeah. and get off that sideline because they're going to get trapped every time. Well, we talked about it earlier. Sideline is your friend if you're an extra defender. 
50-32, our score, 9.06 remaining here in the third quarter, here in the double. Oh. Yeah, good. Gross, we, once, once she gets cranked yep. up, she, she's tough. That's her second Gross one Gross with another three-point shot but she can get them for in the a, Warhawks. Yeah, she can get them in a hurry. Coach, and right now, both leading scores, Nunu Bradford and Wormsley, Tyle Wormsley for Grambling, both not really offensive factors here tonight. You know, and then just a turnover there. You know, Grant just threw it away to the post, and there was just nobody there. And, uh, you know, you know that's that's unlike for them. Brianna Harris again, no good. Got the look she wanted, couldn't finish, but Lauren Gross. They, they need to fix that yep. net. Oh. Uh, yeah, she just, that's the second layup she missed. She's like five for eight and missed two layups. Two layups, yep, center. Threw it away. Grant's got to run it down. She does at midcourt. See, that's about the third time that, that they've just kind of bit lackadaisically thrown it away. It's like they're Grant's throwing the ball. Grant's jumper no good, but she has fought it. Yeah, they're throwing the ball to get rid of it instead of throwing it to someone. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned Harris has some good looks. She's had a great game, but that's the second or third. It's close shot around the basket. She could not finish. Grant, her spin move draws the foul on Harris. And I don't, you know, you know, everybody can make a layup. I guess she's looking for him to come in. But, you know, we talked about earlier, ULM has had 13 turnovers. Of course, Gramlin's had two in a row right here now. And uh, But Gramlin hasn't taken advantage of it. They've only got five points off of those 13 turnovers. ULM has got 10 off of the well, 11 that they had. And, 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 Coach, the way this pace is going, I'm, I'm shocked you look at fast break points, near zero for both teams as Grant misses both. Don't see that very often. Well, and in Gramlin, one thing that Gramlin did at the Oral Roberts was get a lot of fast break points. Wells over to Johnson. Her white wing three, no good. Tipped up right into the hands of Bradford. This time she does finish around the basket. That's vintage Nunu Bradford for her fourth yeah. point tonight. Offensive rebound and put it back oh, in. Oh, great move by Preen with the left. No good. Did everything but finish. Shot up. No good. Rebounded by Blake. She gets her shot again, and this time she'll get a foul on Gross. But Preen did everything, Coach. She blew by her defender. Great left hand. Just could not finish. Yeah, but Blake was battling on those boards. She actually got two offensive rebounds. Finally, uh, Gross fouled her, which is trying to go up to shoot. And that's Gross's third foul right, right after she hit her three. So Gross will have to sit down. Well, that's a heck of a replacement that you can put in there with Caitlin Mangle. <laughs> yeah. Not a luxury that a lot of teams have. Yeah, six woman of the year coming in. Uh, that, that's one of the leading scorers right now for ULL. Well, uh, Blake finally sees the free throw go through for a grambling. Do they have one more run left in them trailing by 22, 741 remaining in the third quarter? Second free throw by Blake. No good off the back iron, but rebounded by Tenner. Yeah. Long rebound just came back to her. You know, Harris didn't block out. She went to the basket, but Tenner, she didn't block out. Tenner wide open corner three. No good off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Grant. No good. This time to Wells, to Bradford. Bradford in transition behind the back with knocked away by Preen. Going for the highlight play. You know, the Globetrotters yeah. are going to be here in Monroe soon. Yeah, they're on Bradford their way. going for the Globetrotter-like play. Well, she may have been auditioning, but that, yeah. that she didn't see the one coming behind yeah. her. Good job by Blake and Preen to knock it away. It'll stay with the Warhawks yeah. under their own basket. Yeah, Blake was right behind her. She thought she had a clear shot. Wells looking to throw it in. She does. Good bounce pass to Harris. She's got a size advantage and one. <laughs> well, it's been that kind of night for Brianna Harris. Yeah. She got the fade away. She couldn't. She did. She doesn't know how many games she has left here at Fantasy and Coliseum, but she is making it count. She's taking advantage of all of them. Spin move, the touch right up the front of the iron, and the friendly confine on the roll. Brianna Harris up to 17 points, ULM's leading scorer. But, you know, you, this this is the kind of game that you that you dream about, and she misses a free throw. No good. Stolen away by Bradford. <laughs> Oh, misses it. <laughs> yes. Right, Coach, there has been so many, I guess you'd call, missed bunnies by yes. both teams tonight. Really yes. unlike both teams. It, it is. You know, they, they, they usually finish under there. Offensive foul on Grant on Brianna Harris. And, Coach, what's impressive about Brianna Harris, and look, who is, who is 100% this time of year, but I know she's been dealing with a slight injury last couple of weeks of the regular season, but you wouldn't know by the way she's played tonight. Oh, yeah, she, she looks very healthy right now. Wells gets it over to Johnson. Her layup up and in. 
She blew past the defense, and the lead is up to 26 yeah, see, ULM for is ULM. One. Yeah, ULM is the one that's finishing strong on good, the fast break. Good look by Preen. Gets it into Grant, but it gets knocked away, and they say it's going to be off her leg. Oh, knocked it off of her leg, so it's ULM's ball. Well, Coach Simmons doesn't think Simmons much of that. wearing out that official. He doesn't think much of that. Manuel gets it over to Wells. Back to Harris, top of the key. She'll look to drive. Wells, open three, top of the key. Splash. <laughs> she, she was feeling that one. I mean, Wells, two for two from distance. Yeah, she knew she was going to shoot that one when she got the ball. Breen will be able to pick up the foul this time by Wells. And right now, ULM coach building a quite comfortable lead, up 29, a 7-0 run in the last minute of this ball game. 12-1 run in the last 2.35. And Grambling having a hard time getting it going offensively here in the second half. It is two, uh, no field goals in the last 251 of this quarter. Well, ULM's keeping the pressure on them, but, you know, both of them has kind of missed some easy shots because that was – Wells got her third foul, just pressuring. It was old dribble penetration, and they said they pushed her out of bounds. Lane to Wormsley. Double team in the corner looking for Grant. Grant runs it down, gets it back to Wormsley. Wormsley just two points here tonight. Tigers leading score. But it's just been a lot of mishandled. There really has. For both teams, Warzer will drive on manual. Off the glass, no good in the hands of J.K. Johnson. It'll be a reach-in foul by Mosley, the freshman out of Tampa, Florida, for Grambling. Well, Rose, Mosley ran over there to, to stop the, the drive and, and just made contact, and they immediately called it. They're, they're not going to let anything get started. Yeah, Johnson, I mean, right when she started going, reach-in foul by Mosley. Miles checks into the game for Harris. I was probably just giving Harris a little breather. And, uh, you know, Miles is, is a tremendous rebounder all year long. She's averaging over five a game. Preen like glue on Johnson's far. Gets a screen by Manuel. Get, oh, looking for the give and go. Bradford will drive. In the post, spin move up, no good. Got her own rebound. Runs it down and calls a timeout. <laughs> good. Good. It wasn't a thing of beauty, Coach, but she was able to keep the play alive for ULM. She she, she couldn't get back on her feet. She, she, she was trying to get it and not travel and call time out and get back on her feet. 12-1 run over the last 318 makes it 62-30. Coliseum. 62-33. Bruce looking to throw it in, does to Manuel. No. Wells will throw it in, or Johnson will throw it in under their own basket. Gets it into Manuel. Manuel, mid-range, no good. I would be kind of say mid-range, short-range jumper. And Grambling looks to push the tempo. Warmsley into the corner to Jackson. Back to Warmsley, top of the key. That's one of Manuel's few misses. Yeah. Preen. Yeah, Preen only two points. Looking for her fourth. Gets to the basket. Coach, she finally finishes. She's gotten to the basket a lot tonight, and that's the first time she's seen one go in. Makes it 62-35. Trapped by Grambling, but it'll stay with ULM. Well, they're just taking it. They're just jumping that ball every time they pick it up. Good, yep, good defense by the Grambling Tigers. Almost forces the turnover right in front of Missy Bilderback. Well, the officials is on top of that. Well, well, well Coach Simmons was creeping a little bit close to the uh, mid-court line. Maybe a little bit over. Bounce pass into Manuel down low. She'll spin. Good turnaround jumper. No good. Left it short. Yeah, that's two misses yeah. by Manuel. She's, that's unusual for her. She's been scoring all, everything she shot. No shot. No good. Was it blocked by Johnson? Who could tell mostly on the shot? And well, jump oh, ball with ULM. Got it. Johnson was just in such a big hurry. And coach, not a not aesthetically pleasing basketball the last few possessions by either team. No, she she was she, she just tumbled and couldn't couldn't yeah. get her balance. I think Grant a little shaken up for the Tigers. Tigers need a big push here at the end of the third quarter, trailing by 27 here in Monroe. Warmsley all over Bradford, but she breaks it. She'll get to the basket, and it's going to be a foul on Grant. Brad, Bradford broke the trap. 
Took it right to the rim and coach, is it on Preen? Is it on Grant? Either way, it's a foul on the Tigers. I think it is on Grant. Yes, yeah, so on Grant. That's, that's her fourth. That's, yeah, she's she's the one away from falling out of this ball game. So obviously Coach Simmons will have to make a substitution. Yeah, that's a that's a fourth. That's a fourth one for Nunu Bradford from the free throw line for ULM. Her shot. Coach free throw finally goes through for Nunu. You think that, so that's, that's her first free throw? First free throw, fifth point. Again, 19 points per game for Nunu Bradford, well over her average. Makes the second free throw, but I don't think she cares with her team up 29 points here in the third quarter. Length of the floor pass by Grambling gets it in to Preen. Preen will drive on Bradford. Her shot no good, and that will be foul number three on Bradford. That is the third on Bradford. Yeah, they'll have to watch that. They'll no, have to watch that. No hesitation by Preen as soon as she gets the basketball, takes it right to the basket. Again, eight points so far for Preen. Preen, Boynton Beach, Florida, a junior for Coach Simmons, 5'7". Fun to watch. Her second free throw is good. Jordan Carter checks back into the ball game. Well, now they'll pick Kurt up. Jackson, yep. Yeah, they'll start picking up again. Well, the coach, they need turnovers. They need, they need points. Down 27, 435 left in the third. Gardner will guard the inbounder, which is Harris. Yeah, they've been able to force. They've been able to force some turnovers. They just hadn't been able to get the score. She gets it into Gross. Gross over to Wells. She gets across the midcourt line, knocked away by Wormsley. Yeah, they got a hand on it. See if Gross takes the screen by Harris. She won't. She'll get over to Johnson. Johnson will drop her layup up and in. Yeah, she just stayed under control and got that one to the basket and finished. J.K. Johnson, 17. Preen right back to the rim, no good. Left it short. Good defense by Wells. Manuel brings it in, gets it back into the hands of Wells. ULM up 66-37, just under four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Wells gets the screen from Harris, then gets it over to Johnson. Johnson back to Gross. Deep three, doesn't matter. Oh, in and out. Uh, thought they had that one. And then Johnson intercepts the pass, her shot up and in. Garner didn't see her on the outlet pass, intercepted by Johnson, and she's got 19 for ULM. And the lead gets up to 31. Yeah, she just does what she's been doing all year, just on both ends of the floor. Gardner shot off the back iron. Brought in by Wells, who was fouled by Preen. Yeah, Preen was just trying to get that ball, keeping Manuel from getting it back. And, and, so, uh, and some frustration starting to set in, Coach, for Grambling. As ULM starting to pull away here in the third quarter. Up 68-37. Yeah, that's Preen's third foul. Substitution coming. Zayla Tenner coming back in to the ball game. Shooting guard out of Amarillo, Texas. Wells' free throw is good. Wells has got nine. That's her first free throw tonight. First free throw. She's done most of her damage from the three-point line tonight. She's in double digits with her 10th. That's four Warhawks in double digits here in the third quarter. Another good move by Preen. Blocked by Harris will be a foul. She, <laughs> Preen has got one explosive first step. Oh, yeah, she got fouled for that. Yeah. Harris blocked that right on top of it, but it looked like... Foul on Harris. She got a lot of ball, too. Ooh. But foul by Harris. I thought that was on top of the ball from here. Of course, the official is standing out of the basket with it. Preen's free throw is good. She was 5 of 6 until that free throw. 68-70-37 ULM. Preen's free throw good. 70-38. All Warhawks here tonight in the second round of the WNIT. Well, Johnson six, trapped. Six for eight from three-point right. Wells, open three, left wing, no good. Back iron, rebounded by Preen. Preen, the figure way she's been driving to the basket, she would. She pulls it out 
to Wormsley. Her three-point shot good. Makes it 70-41. to 41. Johnson gets it across the midcourt line. She'll drive on Preen. Size advantage, takes advantage in, up and in. Coach, there's just a distinct size and strength advantage, Johnson on Preen. Well, she's just going to the basket, and she, she's done that all year. She just goes with it. That's Preen's fourth foul. She'll have to come out, and Jasmine Jackson will check back into the ball game. She is the leading scorer for the Tigers coming off the bench tonight with 11. Been you know, a lot UL, of production. Yep. Had, was concerned about being laid off so long, but yep. you know, it looks like they once they got started, they, they just full steam ahead. Well, and you wonder, now you wonder if Grandin may be a little bit fatigued. They'd be a little bit tired from the conference tournament and then the trip yep. uh, to Oral Roberts of the comeback, the tough win, and then uh, you well, know, getting ready to come on over here. Well, they played a marathon high-scoring game Friday night, won 94-91 on the road. ULM hadn't played in about three weeks. You talk about who's fresh. It was definitely ULM. Carter, scoreless yeah, ULM tonight. Had, ULM had to worry about rust. <laughs> Grammar had to worry about sweat. Yeah, Carter just can't get it going offensively tonight. She's 0 for 4 from the field. 73-41 ULM. Harris. Johnson with 24 points for ULM. That was a bullet. I mean, <laughs> Manuel wasn't looking for no, that. She it, was getting it, ready to rebound, and all of a sudden the ball's coming at her. It was the right idea. Harris with a good look. Manuel was wide open. She just wasn't ready for it. As you mentioned, Coach, this is the look you want. That's a great pass. Manuel just didn't he see was. it. She was looking for the shot, I think. 73-41, ULM up 32 as we've gone under three here in the third quarter. Center will drive on the right baseline. Cut it out to Jackson. Knocked away and stolen by Wells. Gets it to Johnson in transition. Her shot up and in, and that is point twenty-six from J.K. Johnson, who was flirting with 30. She's got 26. Well, Johnson just on a roll. Of course, of course she, she's running. She's getting that roll going herself. Garter finally see one go in. That's her first point in the ball game. She was 0-2 before that basket. Coming off the bench tonight. Actually, she does start for grambling. But they, they substitute so many players, Coach. You don't know who started, who's the bench player with the amount of bodies that they use. But when they come in, you know, ULM's got to figure out who they're defending. Yeah, almost like, a, almost like a hockey line. Ball kept alive by J.K. Johnson. She's trapped. It'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow to Grambling. The shift. I don't know. I'm not a hockey guy. It's been a long time since the moccasins have been in Monroe. It has been. It has been. But there's been some battles on, down here tonight. On yes, some there of, has. On Set, some of those loose balls. Warmsley gets the pick. Looking for the three. She'll drive. Gets it to Carter. Gets it back to Warmsley. She's got an open three from the right corner. Up and in. Warmsley with her second three. She's got eight. Johnson. She'll drive to the basket once again, followed by Gardner. And, 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 John, and, and Johnson had to laugh about that one. The Grambling faithful didn't like the call. Yeah, it looked like she just reached up on here. It looked like she just reached up and took the ball. Is see Johnson on the replay. Oh, was, yeah, yeah, got man, yeah. 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 Up high was the ball, but they got her head on the way up. J.K. Johnson with 26 points for Grambling here, for, excuse me, for ULM here tonight. She opened the season with 30 in Fayetteville. First free throw is good. And again, the amazing thing to us who have seen ULM all year long, all this is happening with, without Bradford scoring. Well, that must be point 20. I was a little ahead of myself, 26 for J.K. Johnson. Yeah, all this without... One of the top players in the Sun Belt Conference. Ball stolen away, knocked away by Bradford into the hands of Johnson. To the rack, no good, but she'll go to the free throw line looking for point 28. Coach, she is, look, what a luxury that Missy Bilderback has. Yeah, we talked about how good Nunu Bradford's been all year, but J.K. Johnson, no slouch. She's a third-team all-conference player. She's just taking it to the goal and finishing. She says she's so aggressive on both ends of the floor. And this is, you know, 
I've had a chance to call a number of games. You called them all. We talked about earlier. This is as aggressive as I've seen her all season long. No doubt, no doubt. And, and on, on both ends of the floor, she's she's always aggressive with the ball. But she's she's been playing defense and rebounding too. She's got 29. This would be 30. And in. It is tough to score 30 points in college basketball. The only person who does that on a semi-regular basis is Caitlin Clark. She'll catch a break. 79-46. All ULM. Jackson, she'll drive with the left. Go up with the left. Up, no good. But a foul on the play. Jasmine Jackson, leading scorer for Grambling with 11. As you see, reach in by Gross. Jackson almost finished that with the left hand. Yeah, that's that's Gross's fourth yeah. foul. Jackson, just a sophomore. Free throw is up and in. In fact, one of the many players who've got eligibility to return for Courtney Simmons next year. Second free throw up and in. That's point 12 for Jackson. Gardner checks in. Ariana Mosley. Excuse me. Gardner checks in. Mosley. Gardner checks out. Mosley checks in. Grambling still pressure. Full court. And a foul on Mosley. And Wells is down. Yeah. Yeah, Wells tripped. Nothing malicious. She just tripped over Grabbing the back of her leg. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Here's yeah, the replay. Yeah. yeah. She's holding her back. And again, I don't even know if she no. In no, fact, there was nothing there. That was like. just she was never touched. That's, what, that's what's tough. Somebody gets a foul call. I don't know if it was an they ankle or she yeah. turned her ankle and yeah. fell. I don't know if it was an ankle or a cramp. We hope it's the best, but coach, she wasn't touched. She just fell down. Yeah. And it looked like her ankle turned. Yeah. But she's holding. Yeah, she was never really touched okay, yeah, she her ball. Grabbed, she grabbed she her leg on the way down. Grabs the back of her leg. Yeah, yeah. but she turned, yeah. That, she turned that ankle on her left foot. Yeah, either ankle or a hamstring injury. The trainers at Coach Bilderback working on that right now. Cer- certainly don't want to see something like that. If you're a ULM up big and have one of your starters go down with an injury. Hopefully, yeah, she, it's, yeah, hopefully it's just a cramp. She's it is. been one of the main ball handlers. And she gets up, not putting any pressure on it, but she is walking off on her own power. You know, the best thing could happen, maybe if, yep. it's, yeah, if it's just yep. a cramp, I think. Yeah, it looks like, well, it is, it's it's wa- cramp, it is warm in here. What and how long has it been since they've played? Yeah, I guess three and, weeks. You know, if they yeah. had been working out or they didn't work out for a while, they have lately. Once they found out they were going to be playing, they didn't know who they was going to play, but they've been working out. And she's she's done a major amount of handling the ball because uh, Bradford was not in the game. Yeah, she, she's handled the ball more than I've seen her. Yep. No, no foul on the play, an inadvertent whistle. So the possession arrow will stay with ULM or with ball. Well, ball. that is yeah. good. Yeah. You know, it, just because somebody trips doesn't yeah. mean there's a foul. And, and looking at the replay, there was no foul. So, and Coach Simmons, she wants an explanation as to why. Officials. Well, they probably won't know why it's not a travel. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Coach Simmons. That's what I would uh, ask. It's been a frustrating night for Coach Simmons. Olivia Knight checks back into the ball game, guarded by Jordan Carter at the top of the key. She gets it into Bradford. Bradford will drive. She'll spin, turn, lost control of the basketball to stay with ULM. Warhawks up 31. Again, Bradford, Coach. Just she's getting to the rack. She's just not able to finish. <laughs> yeah. Good defense by. Tenor for Grambling. Ball will be knocked out of bounds and stay with ULM. But, you know, Grambling is staying defensively. You know, they they hadn't been able to score with the 48 points, but they they're really playing defense. They get a hand on a lot of balls. They're all just all after the ball. Bradford step back three up, no good. Ball tipped up, kept alive by Miles. She'll go with the left and in. <laughs> Again, another offensive rebound for ULM. Warhawks have got 40 rebounds tonight. You know, Miles gets that one and goes back up and finishes. And, you know, scores with a move on night. She's up and finished. Oh, she, again, coach, so many 
plays around the basket, not finished. Stop, pop by Miles, up, no good. Or Bradford, no good. All Warhawks inside Fayetteville Coliseum for the fourth and final quarter of the second round of the WNIT. ULM leads Grambling 81 to 48. Ten minutes away are the Warhawks for moving into the third round here in the postseason. Bradford shot no good. It's been that kind of night for Nunu, but it's been a big night for her teammates. Yeah, she went to it that time, just couldn't get it to go, and then then Gramley comes around and throws it away. You know, they just—I don't know if they're trying to force it or just too in too big a hurry, but uh, just overthrew them. Hey, coach, you've never sounded better than you do right now here inside <laughs> Fan Hewing. We can hear now. Bradford, that time she finishes for her eighth point tonight. 83-48. And, Coach, at some point, we saw Wells go down. Jackson's three-point shot up. Ain't good. She's got 16 off the bench. You saw Wells go down with an injury. I know you're, you're still trying to knock some rust off. Johnson, for her 30-second point, no good. Rebounded by Miles up, no good. Ball kept alive. Manual up, no good, but a blocky foul. At some point up this big, knowing you got another game, when do you start pulling people? That's the, that's the tough decision if you're Coach Builderback because you haven't played a lot recently, but also you don't want to see what happens to Wells happen to somebody else. Well, I, that's true, but but if it's a cramp, that's that's okay yep. as long as it wasn't an injury that's going to keep her out. But you know, I think she just play like she did all year. They played Thursday, Saturday all year, and it's been a little while, but everybody's so pumped up right now that I, I think they, they won't feel anything. Or they'll be tired tomorrow. <laughs> well, Manuel has done a lot right. Except for that free throw, but she makes up for it there. You know, I was surprised when she got the rebound instead of going right back up with it, that she put it on the floor. Carter looking for her first points. Well, doesn't finish, but that is a foul on Bradford. That will be her fourth. Yeah, she just took it right at her. First team foul of the fourth quarter for the Warhawks. Carter, it's been a frustrating night for her. Starter for the Tigers. Wear number 23, appropriately named Jordan, gets her first bucket of the ball game. You know, Bradford, with those fouls, she's got to quit reaching for the ball. She went up with her, but then she, she reached up at the ball. Carter, another player from Grambling from the Longhorn State, a big Texas influence on this Grambling roster. 84-53. Watkins checks back into the ball game for ULM, guarded by Jackson. Trap gets it away to Johnson. Johnson shot up. No good off the back iron. Rebounded by who else? Manuel. And she finishes. <laughs> she got it strong. That is the ninth rebound for Manuel. She's close to a double-double. Ball knocked away by Bradford and out of bounds will stay with the Tigers. Well, she's still awful aggressive to have those yep. four fouls. <laughs> but, I don't think she can't she, not I, be aggressive. Right. That's the only way she knows to yep. play. I just think yeah. it's in her net. Zero to 60. Yeah, hey, you, you either play or you don't play. Yeah. It's no half play. Mosley will throw it in on the near sideline. Johnson strips Swarmsley. Johnson's layup up in transition is good. What a night for J.K. Johnson tonight. She won't ever forget. She's got 32 points for ULM. And Coach Simmons calls a timeout. If you, if you ever wondered what a strip or a rip was, you just saw it. And that was a classic move. She just took it and went to the other end and finished. Big night for J.K. Johnson. 32 here. In Monroe, 88-53. You know, a lot of that, if you're just looking, they just brought us a, a stat. You look at it, points off of turnovers, ULM is 25-8. to eight. Points in the paint is a big one, 42-12. Yep. to 12. Jackson, three from the corner. She's had another good night. Started slow, but she is five of eight from distance tonight. Got 6-19. Bradford, she'll get to the rack. Doesn't finish, but she'll get a chance to get into some uh, to double digits, Coach. She's got eight, and a number of players for ULM having big nights offensively. You know, Gremlin is eight for 17 from three, because as you just mentioned, Jackson's five for eight. And that is the fifth foul on Preen. She is done for the night. Warmsley will check back in. Preen is done for the night. She had 11. Bradford shot is good. She's got nine. Coach, I want to thank our top-notch production team, those folks working extremely hard. It's crossover season from baseball to softball 
they worked their tails off to make sure we got this broadcast, and we certainly appreciate them. It, it took a lot of people doing it. It did. A lot of, a lot a of, lot of hats. I've learned a lot. <laughs> they, there's a lot of moving pieces to make something like this happen, and I'm very impressed. Shot up and in by Carter. She's got her fourth point in the ball game. Labor of love. Manual. She'll drive to the basket up and footsteps. Yeah, she, she traveled. She, she, like she stutter stepped. I don't know. Like she started to shoot and then changed her mind. Olivia Knight back in the game and hometown favorite coach, pride of Westboro, Shamaya Butler. There's a travel on Manuel. Yep, took yep. footsteps. Shamaya Butler has checked into the ball game for the first time tonight for the Warhawks. Jackson, she'll get to the basket and he's close to 20 points here tonight. ULM up 90 to 60, 7.30 left here in the ball game. I think that was Jackson's first two, everything else. Every, three yeah. and free throws. That's it. Kind of like the kid the other night from Oakland. <laughs> Watkins will drive to the basket. Her shot up, no good. Rebounded by Butler. Her shot up, no good. Tipton will go to Grambling. Two young, young players in Watkins and Butler. Neither one could convert. Well, it's great that they're getting some, some play in time. Yeah, valuable experience for all these kids out on the court right now. Carter with the move on the right baseline in front of Wells. Can't finish. Ball rebounded by Miles. Yeah, Four, somebody, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit went and got it. Olivia just Knight, she's looking for her first basket. She had a chance to pass it to Butler. Lost control of it, but got it back. Makes a move on Carter. Her shot up. And in. <laughs> Olivia Knight gets her first bucket of the ball yeah, game. That's the one in the crowd wanted to see score. Well, she's given some valuable minutes to Coach Builder back tonight. Jackson. Mosley on the left baseline. Up and in. That's Mosley's first points of the ball game. Yeah, she just went to the basket strong and finished. 92-62. You know, you think, you, the, the, you look at 92 and you think this clock ought to be winding down, but it's over Miles with minutes, a good look though. to Butler. She yeah. finishes. <laughs> that was one they wanted to. And that gets the whole town faithful fired up. Mosley in transition, her three short. Carter kept it alive. Ooh. But they said she stepped out of bounds before she kept it alive. Yeah, I was looking. I thought Knight was going to grab that one. There's the three-point shot. Warmsley in transition. Carter tried to keep it alive, but they said she was out of bounds. The Monroe faithful loved what the pride of West Monroe was able to do on that last possession, her first bucket <laughs> exactly, of the ball game. Exactly. They were all pulling for her. Yeah, you know, she's out here working extremely hard every day. They're looking for her again. Miles over to Watkins. Watkins shot with the left. Left it short. Rebounded by Butler. <laughs> She'll go to work. Shot no good. Rebounded by Blake for Grambling. Yeah, Watkins went in there and tried to just take that one away. Yeah, Easy little... bucket for Mo. Oh, Mosley wow. misses the bunny. Coach, how many times have we mentioned that tonight? I got to quit jinxing these people. <laughs> they... It was right there. But she was able to get the follow-up. Yeah, yeah. Mosley, she won't be able to believe that herself. A lot of missed shots tonight for both squads. You know, they've made some amazing shots and missed some that you would think that everybody would make. Reach in, file for Graham, and we'll get another substitution. Re Aquell, the Aussie, comes into the ball game. Okay, she came in for Butler. I didn't know. Both of them kind of play inside. I didn't yep. know. Butler <laughs> comes in, gets a bucket. Yeah, she's going to shuffle them around. Bradford on Jackson. Lost control of the basketballs. Retained by Miles. Gets she, it back to Bradford. She's trying to do too much with it. She's going to just take it to the basket on her own. Bradford up no good. Rebounded by Miles. Her follow-up no good. And offensive foul by ULM. Coach, that's 48 Follow rebounds for ULM tonight. If that's not a season high, that's got to be close to it. <laughs> it is. It is. They're, they're there. But there's been a lot of shots. There has. <laughs> a lot of second and third opportunities. Warmsley, good pass to Mosey. Blocked. 
Boy, she just went after that. Bob Miles. Yeah, Miles. Miles can get up now. She's not a big scorer, but she's a yeah. rebounder and a defender. That was a great look by Mosley, but an even better block by Miles. Yeah, but Miles was just was on top. I mean, got there so quick. Wormsley throwing it in under her own basket. Gets it in to Blake. She'll drive on the right baseline. That ball's blocked again by Miles. This time it's blocked by Watkins. It's a block party all of a sudden at ULM. Wormsley, this time she gets the bucket cut into the basket. Ockwell gets it into Watkins. 94-66. Can ULM hit the century mark? Watkins to Ockwell. Ree. She'll drive. Lost control. Gets it back. Well, you know, we see that she just came in the game. That's the first time she's handled the ball. But we've seen a lot of mishandled dribble. Bradford stops, pops up, left it short. Rebounded by Knight. <laughs> yeah. The one person on the court yeah. you don't expect yeah. to get it. A little bit. Ockwell, just top of the key. No good. Rebounded by Blake. Yeah, Ockwell had, she was driving to the basket to get her one and just missed dribbling. Wormsley knocked away by Watkins. Goes behind the back on Mosley. Watkins with the right, no good, but she's fouled. She's trying to dot the scoreboard for the first time tonight. Yeah, she was just going to the basket and put it up. She, she was, she was going to get one. She's going to try to get her first bucket tonight. More substitutions. Amaya Ford checking into the ball game tonight. Watkins from Panola, Alabama. Left-handed free throw is good. She gets into the scorebook. That's her, her first point. But, you know, and, and Ford. Ford has been a game. She, she played a good bit last year, but with, with this team coming in, she hadn't played as much. Second free throw is no good. Ball rebounded by Blake. Over to Jackson. She'll stop, pops. Good. Coach, <laughs> on, a, on a rough night for Grambling, Jackson's got 23 points. She, she can. I mean, that, that was a great shot. Knight breaks the press. You know, that's the that's thing she can do. She, she, she's short. She gets down. Left hand every down, and she gets a little high with that dribble. Forward to Ockwell. Thought about the three. She'll drive. Under the basket. Up. Well, circus shot doesn't go in. I think she lost control where she Oh, Miles was where she was. Miles went after it, but just Butler's about to check back into the ball game for ULM. Comes in for Miles. Miles with some good minutes off the bench tonight. Yeah. Well Miles was slow coming in, but I think Manuel was playing so well, yeah. got off to such a great start. That cut into Miles' play yeah, time. Might as well Miles, stick Miles with plays the, a lot. Yeah. Might as well stick with the hot hand. She's really a good athlete. And a reach-in foul by Watkins. Graham will throw it in in front of their own bench. Carter, top of the key, guarded by Watkins. Gets it to Jackson. She stops, pops, fall away, no good. Rebounded by Knight. She's got another offense, so she's got another board. <laughs> Almost stolen away by Jackson. Well, Jackson's just right there with her. They let her, she is not letting up defensively hey, despite the yeah, score. That's two of them like playing, playing keep away. Watkins will drive with the left. Up and in. Nice finish by Watkins. Makes it 97-68. That's right. She got hers. Center on Ockwell. No good off the back iron. Rebounded by Ford. Yeah, Ford is a really a good athlete. You just got to get involved in the game. 97-68. Ockwell. Ball knocked away. I think she was looking for Butler. Baseball pass downfield to Carter with Ford on her and a foul. Yeah, she was trying to cut her off and didn't get there quick enough. So uh, with 2.15 left, it's safe to say that the Warhawks coach see the good baseball pass to Carter, picking up the foul on Ford. ULM will move into the next round of the WNIT. Only thing is, you don't know who and you don't know where or when who, yet. Who, when, or where? It'll, it'll, it'll be, in about three days, it'll be. But it, it may come out tonight or definitely come out tomorrow. Where and who? And th this could be the last game inside Fanyu and Coliseum, but there may be one more. 
at well, least before the but, end of the tournament. But this crowd, you know, it depends on, you know, how they read this crowd. It was a great crowd. That's what you look for. ULM broke to, got in the lane too yep. quick, but it was in good anyway. Full court press. Still keeping up that pressure is Courtney Watkins, excuse me, Courtney Simmons bunch. And again, looking back, Knight on Carter. Coach, a lot to be proud of if you're a Grabler fan. Ford's block shot by Blake. Okay. Blake shot up and in, makes it 97-72. Um, coach, 23 wins in year number one for Courtney Simmons. Both of these coaches, for most of the season, I don't know officially anymore, were top five in wins for first-year coaches. So the future is very bite for Grambling. No, no doubt. And, and, you know, the game they lost in the conference tournament was to Alcorn. We mentioned it earlier. And they had beat Alcorn at Alcorn earlier in the season. And, and lost by uh, two points. And they gave Jackson State. They were really the only team to give Jackson State fits all year. Watkins. <laughs> what do you know? It's a Watkins. <laughs> Olivia Knight. <laughs> As the cloud explodes, yeah. she gets yeah. <laughs> ULM to 100 points. Yeah, a little bit got her three. Warmsley up. No good. Out of bounds. Oh. We'll stay with Grandwood. Oh, Shamaya couldn't get a hand on She got a hand on it, but not enough to hold it. She knocked it out of bounds. Oh, Knight. With a night she'll never forget. Well, see, not only was it was it night, but it was just the hundredth point. Yep. It, it was all of it. Shot no good, knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with Grambling. A lot of folks getting some playing time tonight for ULM. Certainly the way w that Missy Bilderback wanted to open the postseason with a performance like this. Carter. Yep. She'll drive. She'll. No good, but a foul on Gramble. Yeah, the four just took that, like, took that away from her. But, you know, most college basketball seasons end with a loss. Yep. So, Almost everybody. Yeah, that's exactly right. But but to, to, but to come back and, and have a win here at home for ULM, I know it's a very, very tough one for Grambling. But, I mean, they have had yep. an outstanding so, year and season. And I, probably a lot of people outside Grambling didn't think they would go to to Oral Robertson win. Yeah, 23 wins and a win in the postseason. So the future awfully bright. And I had Coach Simmons on my radio show last week, and she is thrilled to be at Grambling. She told me, why not Grambling? So they got a good one. Well, I get it. They're, yep. thrilled. <laughs> They're thrilled with her. Knight over to Ford. As ULM looks to run out the clock. Rose is shot no good, but she was bumped. Damn, she got... She got bumped from behind. A lot of different players able to play for both teams here tonight. Valuable postseason experience for both clubs. You know, Gross. I don't know. You know She's that's little, her little, seventh. Yeah, yeah, a little bit surprised to see her back in. But, I mean, everybody wants to play yeah. again. This could be her last home game. And if that's her last shot, it's good. It is and she good. is out, and Watkins is in. Yeah. Yeah, how would you like to end your career yeah. with a made shot? With a made shot. Warmsley. But if we say yeah. that, it, it, this is not going to no, be no, the no, last game. No, no, at home. Yeah, at home, yeah. At home. Yeah, it's not going to be the end of the year. For Tonight, there could be another <laughs> home game. Exactly. Yeah. Her last shot of the night was good. 20 seconds left here. Warsley's three-point shot is good. Make it 102-76, and right now ULM will just look to run out the clock. Yeah, yeah a little bit, just let it go. She, she'll just play keep away. And, and, and what a night it was. Yeah. Well, it was worth the wait, 30 years for the postseason. And we're not done yet. ULM will Post inside Fenton Ewing Coliseum, Coach, Wednesday night at 6.30 versus a familiar foe, Southern Miss, who two great games in the regular season between both of these squads. Well, that'll be awesome. Well, the best thing the, the best thing about it besides a win for ULM playing here is that they got another chance to, to, to play again. Those seniors got another chance to play at home, have a chance to win again, and they've already beat Southern Miss. So because, you know, it's going to be a different game this time. 
but it was it's a tremendous atmosphere, and ULM will be looking to get this same kind of crowd back in here for Wednesday night. Two, when, uh, two nights from now, this crowd needs to get back in here and bring the, the Warhawks on in against Southern Miss. It, it is kind of like the NCAA tournament. It's a pretty quick turnaround. Warhawks playing tonight against Grambling. I got to watch yep. the Wells. You know, yep. she, she's just.